How to feed your rabbit. People used to think a rabbit's diet should consist of a bowl of pellets from the pet store. Now we know better. Here's how to keep your rabbit happy and well-nourished. You will need rabbit books, magazines, and websites for research, a steady supply of feed quality Timothy hay, a large litter box, newspapers to line the box, alfalfa-based rabbit pellets for rabbits six months and younger, Timothy-based rabbit pellets for rabbits six months and older, dark, leafy greens such as chicory or dandelion, and a one-quart water bottle. Optional, small pieces of carrot for treats, and salt or mineral blocks. Step one, before you bring your rabbit home, research his nutritional needs, along with all his other needs, of course. Reading up-to-date rabbit books, magazines, and websites will explain rabbit nutrition in depth. Steer clear of books and websites produced by rabbit breeders. They're most concerned with how to make rabbits grow as fast as possible, not how to keep them as healthy as possible. Step two, the staple of a rabbit's diet should be as much clean, high-quality Timothy hay as your bunny can put away. Rabbits can't overfeed on hay, which is best for their tummies, their teeth, and their health. Your best bet will be to buy your Timothy in flakes, half bales, or full bales. The small bags of hay you can find at most pet stores tend to be very expensive and aren't always fresh. Step three, there's no way around it. Hay makes a mess. The easiest way to keep your bunny's meal in one place is to put it into a large, high-sided litter box lined with newspaper. Step four, every day, give your rabbit a supply of hay that's about the same volume as his body. He needs extra to dig into and rest on. Step five, unfortunately, most bunnies enjoy eating and pooping at the same time, so change the hay box frequently. If the box is large enough, you can top off the existing hay with a new layer for a couple of days. Speaking of poop, large dryish droppings are a welcome sign that your bunny is getting plenty of hay. Step six, while not an appropriate entree, pellets are a good source of vitamins and minerals. Toss a small handful on top of the hay, around two tablespoons for a two to three pound rabbit, and around one quarter cup for a five pounder. Alfalfa-based pellets are okay for rabbits that are six months old or younger. After that, switch to Timothy-based pellets. These can be hard to find in pet stores, but many rabbit websites sell them. Step seven, rabbits need fresh leafy greens every day. Use about half a cup for a rabbit that's two pounds or less, about three quarters of a cup for a three to five pounder, and about a cup for a rabbit that's five pounds or more. Bugs Money may love carrots, but they contain too much sugar to be given to your rabbit regularly. Small pieces of carrots are okay for treats once in a while, though. Step eight. It's not food, of course, but while we're on the subject, make sure your rabbit has plenty of fresh water every day. Step nine. You don't need to put a salt block or mineral block in your bunny's cage, but it won't hurt if you do. Step 10. Yes, a good complete rabbit diet is more complicated than the old-fashioned bowl of pellets, but if you follow these directions, you'll be rewarded with a bright-eyed, energetic bunny companion for many happy years. Did you know the largest rabbit on record weighed an amazing 115 pounds?